this is outline for my talk today. I'm gonna uh, start from st some statistics of the, of the journal. Uh, and talk about our new vision and the new initiatives for the journal, followed by some common reasons for uh, rejections or desk rejections for not only BAR, but also for other um, uh, uh, journals. Uh, in the very end, I'm going to give some example of the star papers of the journal in the past few years to let you know what kind of topics are becoming uh, hot or become popular. So for uh, those of you who are new to the, uh, the conference or to the association, uh, the, the British Accounting Review was founded in 1969. About three years ago, we just celebrated uh, the 40th anniversary for the journal. Uh, so uh, the bar is, uh, belong, it belongs to the, the association BAFA, the largest academic association of accounting and finance uh, in the UK. So well, we, we have, for the journal, we have the accounting the name, but actually we publish all types of uh, uh, research across the whole spectrums of uh, accounting and finance. And talking about the research methodology or topics, uh, the journal is really uh, eclectic and uh, pluralistic. Uh, so we publish both qualitative and quantitative uh, studies. And I also would like to emphasize that the evidence from the UK or non-UK sources or international, international samples are equally acceptable. So I know the audience, many of the audience from Australia, from uh, one of you or from uh, even Colombia, we, if you have good papers, I mean, we definitely welcome your uh, contribution to the, to the journal. Uh, from the, the beginning of May last year, uh, Jason and I took over the, the position of the joint editor uh, from Nathan and uh, Alan after uh, more than eight years of excellent service of them. Um, so we are in the row for less than a year. Now I want to uh, give you some information that people normally feel very interested in, that is a performance matrix of the, of the journal, because this is important criteria for people to submit their work. According to the latest impact factor uh, of, last, of, of this year, uh, actually because there's a lag of the, public, of the, of the pu pu publication of the data. So that, uh, the 2020 is the latest figure that we have. So we are uh, top two uh, in accounting with an impact factor of 5.5 and the top seven out of 108 uh, uh, in accounting and finance combined. Uh, talking about size score, we are top three in the world in accounting and top seven with accounting and finance combined. In the ABDC quality journal list in, uh, published in Australia, we are rated at A star, the highest possible rating for academic journals. Uh, so our vision is to make this, uh, the journal to be a globally recognized leading journal. Uh, uh, so one, one criteria for this is going to be we want to move from a grade 3 to grade 4 journal in the ABS list. This is going to be a, another milestone that we would like to achieve. I also want to share you some data about the uh, statistics of the submission. Um, last year, we have received about 600 submissions. This is an increase of uh, about 100 more papers compared to the figures in 2020. Um, and we have, uh, uh, well, about 500 papers uh, rejected. Others were in the revision process uh, and about uh, 39 papers were accepted, but for those 39 papers, most of them are not sub submitted in 2021. They possibly are submitted before before the year because the revision, uh, I mean, a, a, a couple of rounds of revision uh, do take time. Talking about the trends of the uh, origin of uh, submission of corresponding authors, the leading region still the, uh, the UK we receive about 121 papers uh, in the last year. Um, th 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 thank to the former editor, Nathan, who is from Australia. He did a tremendous work to promote the journal in Australia and New Zealand. So we receive a lot of high quality papers from uh, uh, those, those regions. And the number from Australia is 96, and uh, the one from New Zealand is uh, 30, 34. 
and presumably because of our effort uh, to promote the journal in, in, in China in different social media, uh, the number from the sub submission from China were nearly doubled in, in, in 2021. But as you may find out, we do have uh, uh, many submissions from other parts of the world, but we see a big room to, for improvement. Like we are expecting more papers uh, uh, submitted from the, the US and from, the, from Canada and from, from continental Europe and other parts of the world. So uh, uh, as part of the initiative, we are working with uh, a number of leading experts in uh, those regions to uh, organize conference to uh, edit special issues and to further promote this journal in those underrepresented uh, underrepresented regions. So here I'm going to summarize a number of initiatives that we have taken to uh, improve the journal and to achieve our vision, which is to make the journal to become a widely recognized and leading journal in accounting and finance. The first initiative we had was to improve further improve the author experience. So I think uh, among the, the, the top journals by impact factor, I think we are the possibly the only one uh, the, which does not charge a submission fee. Uh, with uh, the, the, the COVID and with uh, the budget cut in many universities around the world, submission has become, fee has become a burden for researchers in many emerging countries. And we are, uh, for, for, for BAR, we, 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 we would not charge a submission fee and uh, welcome the submissions uh, uh, from different parts of the world. Uh, we also streamlined the review process to provide timely and constructive uh, report to authors. As you may find out in the figure uh, below, uh, the, uh, the journal has a rejection rate uh, around uh, 94%. Uh, that means only about 6% six, 6 of the papers are, uh, can be accepted eventually. Uh, well, the, the one approach we did was to further streamline the, uh, the, review, uh, the screening process in the very beginning. We desk reject a large number of papers, but not only reject them, but to provide some constructive feedback, which helped them to identify a more suitable journal without a long waiting for a rejection letter. And for other papers which were sent to blind review, they are carefully took, took care of by our, uh, by our uh, associate editor team and also carefully chosen um, uh, 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 referees in the tail end pool. The second uh, 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 initiative we had was to further improve the uh, diversity of our editorial team. We had an excellent um, uh, team of the uh, associate editors uh, who made the, what the journal is today, uh, but in order to uh, bring more talents in the, in the team, we have been expanding the editorial team. Uh, for example, we have uh, Franklin Allen, Robert Ruffaff, and Johnson Kapoor from UK, Australia, and the US our, as our new consulting editors. They had very rich experience uh, in editing and leading journals. Uh, in addition to them, the, the immediate past editors, Nathan and Allen, also uh, regularly give us advice. Um, they, they are extremely helpful. Uh, in addition to this, we have, we, we're having a number of uh, new associate editors. These include um, uh, like Mark Gergen um, and Patrick um, uh, from continental Europe. We have uh, Liang Hao Lingchen from Asia and, from, uh, and a number of other uh, editors from the uh, from the uh, uh, UK. So those the, the, those editors have in common uh, because they publish excellent work uh, uh, in their expertise, expert ex specialized areas. But also they, they I mean they are they have a diversity of expertise in different research areas, and they they, they are from different part of the world. This is part of our initiative to increase uh, uh, diversity inclusion. Uh, of, the, of, of, the, of the journal. The third initiative that, that we had was we uh, increased the number of manuscript types we considered published for the journal. Initially, we, 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 we mainly publish a full uh, manuscript. But from this year, we are doing a, a pilot scheme. That is, we're going to welcome the submission of uh, research notes that provide timely analysis of emerging and important issues, which offer unique insights for quick dissemination. 
So uh, there, I mean, the, the world is changing very fastly and there are many important issues uh, emerged. For those issues, sometimes we do not have a comprehensive data set to analyze, but we think uh, uh, a preliminary study uh, uh, and, and some time analysis will be very important to add to the knowledge and add to the understanding of the policymakers. But please note that for this type of research node, we only consider if a comprehensive setting do not exist. Uh, and those uh, research nodes, uh, typically we expect more, no more than 3,000 words and they typically they, they, there is an empirical analysis of the, which is uh, carefully motivated by the, by the theories. Um, here are some examples of the topics that we uh, 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 encourage people to look at, like the non-fungible token. Uh, this is a new type of the fintech asset or the carbon neut neutrality issues and some recent advancing met methodological advances. I've seen the, the program for the conference today. Many of the papers are on uh, those important areas. I do uh, encourage you to consider to send your papers to us. Uh, the bar also published other forms of studies, including the critical literature survey articles uh, and also book reviews. But we, uh, we very occasionally publish a book review. We only published one this year, but we do welcome some uh, uh, comprehensive review of the uh, important stream of the literature, which also point out some important uh, future research directions. The fourth initiative that we have was to uh, work with some leading experts to edit some uh, special issues or to organize some conferences together. This is uh, the, the list of the special issues published in past few years. Many of them are extremely successful in attracting citations, attracting downloads, um, and uh, you may find out the topics are, uh, 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 are listed here. Uh, since Jason and I took over the post, we uh, worked with a number of conferences in the last year. Uh, in, in 2021, uh, we worked with uh, University of Glasgow uh, on the event about COP26 uh, COP on the uh, climate issues. And another one of similar issues with University of Edinburgh and Harriet Watt University. Uh, to promote uh, timely research on the uh, climate uh, uh, implications on finance and accounting. In addition to this, we also work with some um, uh, ac leading academic associations in different parts of the world. Uh, like uh, from the next year, we're going to set up a research award, research excellent award for women with the African Accounting and Finance Association. Uh, this is a, a I mean, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, as a part of our initiative to uh, enhance equality and, and inclusion, but also to encourage res original research on African settings and to encourage research researchers, especially uh, uh, female researchers from Africa to do, re to do uh, 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 high quality uh, original research. And finally, we always work with BAFA very closely. Uh, so when Professor Liu Jia invited me for a talk, I, was, I didn't hesitate to say yes, because I always would like to use the chance to meet our uh, BAFA members and friends uh, to have uh, discussions like this and to uh, in invite your submissions or, uh, uh, of your high quality conference papers. I also like to update you some uh, plans for the next year. Uh, we have a number of special issues scheduled already. Uh, so in, in, in this year, we're going to have two conferences on carbon issues. One is Green Carbon F Conference with uh, uh, University of College London, Uni of Edinburgh, and Shanghai University of Finance and Economics. The, uh, another special issue is with uh, uh, an, an, uh, a group of guest editors led by a professor from Oxford on uh, carbon accounting and management. A third one is on the role of legal and political regulatory institutions in, in, uh, in influencing accounting and finance outcome. This conference is based in uh, Australia. And we also ha already had a plan for uh, 2023 is a, a conference on AI and big data, as well as its, its, uh, their implication on accounting and finance. The call for papers of those conferences are, and special issues are listed on the web page of the 
British Accounting Review, I do encourage you to check the uh, the call for papers and do consider to write a paper in those topics. Uh, meanwhile, if you want to uh, propose some collaboration plan, like um, uh, uh, co-organize an event or uh, propose a special issue or a special section, uh, we do have a, a guideline. So if you follow the link, you're going to know what kind of uh, materials we're going to need to, uh, to evaluate the proposal. Like we, we can expect a three-page statement on the rationale of the topic uh, with a, a proper literature review followed by cover letter, CVs, and budget details. I want to emphasize that we, uh, we only uh, collaborate with conference which already have the resources available. That means we already have the, enough budget to run the conference. We, I, we, we do not um, do the conference which is purely sponsored or by charging a very high submission fee from the audience. So here we go, uh, 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 as you may find out, we, our journal, uh, not only our journal, many journals have very high uh, rejection rate, especially the desk rejection rate. So I'm going to summarize some key issues for scholars to think about when they write their paper or before they submit their paper. Um, so as uh, 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 one of the leading journals in the area, the British County Review wants to publish paper which addresses important and real problems or puzzles. So what is a real problem and important problem? There are three boxes uh, to be taken. The first one is people don't yet know the answer. And the answer in most cases should not be too obvious. This is going to allow some uh, you know, rooms for, uh, to discuss uh, incremental contribution. The second box to, to take in is uh, people want to know the answer. Right? Many questions, uh, people don't know the answer, but we, we simply don't want to know and are interested to, to know like uh, what I had for my breakfast. We possibly don't know, but nobody gonna be interested in what I, what I actually had. The third one, uh, or third box to, to take is it matters or relevant for people and society, which gives uh, 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 room for discuss the possible impact uh, for the journal or relevance for the policy makers for the paper. So uh, to further elaborate this issue, I'm going to talk, I summarize the common problems into three, uh, uh, three aspects. The first one is um, the, a, literature review, a, a literature gap does not naturally guarantee its contribution. Uh, well, we always say this paper fills a certain gap, which is, might be true, but is a necessary but not adequate condition. Uh, in some cases, we may find some marginal contribution uh, uh, from this by filling certain gap, because uh, there are some neighboring neighboring papers on a similar topics. This particular variable might hasn't been studied, but there are some other highly correlated or highly uh, uh, irrelevant uh, 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 variables has been published in other journals. Although we do not answer, do not do not know the answer for this particular variable, but we can, but we can infer the answer from the existing knowledge of the of the neighboring papers. The second issue is a random concept con, uh, connector. There are some different concepts in different parts of the area, like the corporate finance, corporate governance, out, some outcome variables for firm outcome, firm policy, etc. Some of them do, and some the link of some of them has not been studied. But this, in some cases, this does not guarantee a contribution. They could merely rep represent a, 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 you know, a trivial or unnatural question. And in many cases, those unnatural questions are going to rely on some very far-fetched mechanisms. Uh, the third problem is uh, narrow marginalist. That, that means um, this certain topics or, or certain uh, uh, theme of the paper are too specific on a single country or a very spe specific setting. Uh, well, in some cases, those uh, specific setting can be very useful because it's relevant to an unanswered question related to an important theory. But in other, case, in, in other cases, uh, well, it's just the uh, represent, it does not have sufficient interest for the typical audience of the, of the British Accounting Review. So there's a balance of the, how general a topic is and how specific it should be. 
this represents the first common problem, that is uh, uh, the, 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 the contribution issue. The second uh, problem for, for us to think about is uh, the lack of a theoretical uh, framework. Sometimes we're lucky to have a very cool data set and we want to do some original analysis and make story out of it. But we need to always bear in mind all the tests should be motivated by theories and the test should not only be uh, you know, uh, empirical driven, otherwise you are subject to the problem of data mining and people do not know how the, in, the, 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 the results can advance our existing knowledge or our understanding of certain theories. Um, another related issue is the lack of engagement with, uh, with uh, 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 literature. This could be uh, 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 perceived as an ad hoc review of the literature instead of a uh, uh, systematic review of the important uh, papers in certain area, uh, articulating how they, the, the knowledge of this area were added uh, uh, gradually. Some papers just ad hocly choose a small number of papers to discuss. This is going to uh, demonstrate the uh, maybe the uh, more efforts need to be, to be taken to understand the literature. Or if the literature the paper rely on is not accounting finance paper, maybe we, our uh, comments will be, it's is not suitable for accounting finance paper. Maybe a management paper or other, a management journal or other journals is going to fit it better. We do receive uh, some papers, uh, uh, well, it's well written, but none of the papers in the reference list are from accounting finance discipline. The, the, the third one is uh, methodological rigor uh, because every journal has its bar regarding uh, the expectation for the a standard of the empirical skills. Talking about many studies in corporate finance nowadays, uh, people would not expect the endogeneity issues has been very carefully uh, addressed with uh, plausible identification strategies. And we would hope that uh, the, uh, the, the, the methodology is already in place before you submit the, the paper to a journal. Um, the, the last one is uh, some uh, reflection from my, uh, my personal experience. I think uh, there are many, I, I'm, I'm in the game for uh, more than uh, uh, 10 years, not that long, not too short, um, but I can see a dramatic change in the uh, academia, especially in accounting finance. The number of people in this area has been increased dramatically. Uh, looking at our, I mean, PhD program, I mean, this has been expanded a lot and there's a huge increase in supply of talents. Uh, meanwhile, there are many, uh, there's also a big increase in the supply of the journals. Many new journals are founded and many existing journals expanded the number of volumes uh, each year. Uh, so that means um, publishing some medium ranked journals doesn't matter that much anymore. Some, uh, especially some open access journals, they have decent impact factor, but they publish like uh, if not a thousand, five hundred, maybe have five hundred papers um, uh, a month, or even more. So many more people are having uh, 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 decent publications. But in order to distinguish yourself with with uh, with your peers, I think publishing uh, uh, very high quality journals uh, gonna matters more, like British Accounting Review. So I encourage that people possibly should adjust the 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 the, the publication strategy to adapt to the to the, uh, 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 the current situation, that is to uh, uh, pursue more, pr more promote, uh, promising topics with the limit of uh, our time, the limit of our, our energy. Because uh, uh, although there are always a lot of uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, topics uh, there for us to examine, there is always uh, Opportunistic, uh, uh, op opportunity cost. When we are engaging project A, we possibly gonna you know, uh, lose our chance to engage in another one, but project B, which might be more promising. Uh, and sometimes if we write a paper, uh, which is uh, okay, but not that great, uh, we do not get that published very quickly. Uh, the expectation of the referees and editors are getting increased every year and uh, papers are simply getting harder and harder to, to get it published. So there's also a sunk cost associated with that. I, my, my personally also suffer from those problems. So I, it's a kind of my personal reflection, but I also hope it's helpful for the 
for the other uh, audience today uh, in this conference. Uh, finally, I'd like to share with you some uh, stock papers that we had for the British Accounting Review uh, to infer what kind of topic has been very popular uh, uh, and attract a lot of attention uh, in the past few years. Uh, first of all, we look at the, the most cited articles in, in 2020, 2021. Uh, there are two papers attracted a large number of citations last year. And that is one paper regarding gender diversity and another paper regarding the environmental issues. I think that is a very uh, 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 a popular type of research nowadays people are doing. But those two papers were published in 2015 and 2016. No wonder and people, when more people are doing research in this area, people cite the earlier publications in those, uh, in those areas. And if we look at the recent publication, the most cited recent publication, and they were published in uh, 2019 and, uh, and 2020, well, the, the one paper is about fintech, internet-related technology. Another one is about Bitcoin. So two of them are actually uh, papers about fintech. So this is uh, uh, from reading the star papers, uh, the list of star papers. We know the gender issue. Uh, discrimination issue, the environmental issue, carbon issue, fintech, etc., has been the, the hot topics for people to do nowadays. And uh, we also uh, are actively monitoring the, uh, the social media attention for the publications in the journal. Many of them uh, triggered a fierce debate or discussion in Twitter, in LinkedIn, in Reddit, and other social media platforms. So here are two of two highly ranked one. The first one is about fin uh, financial innovation and Islamic finance. Another one is uh, about gender diversity. Likewise, that shows you know the inclusion, it, inclusion diversity issue is uh, become uh, is becoming very important. Uh, 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 so is uh, the, the the gender gender diversity issue. Well, I think I uh, uh, just. Uh, 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 spend like 25 minutes on this and I, I would like to uh, summarize uh, before I, we, we, we go to the uh, Q&A session. So I, I really welcome the, all, all of you to submit your either the conference paper or other high quality papers to uh, the British Accounting Review which is uh, rated as a leading journal in this area to advance the knowledge of uh, accounting and finance. And uh, Jason and I are going to uh, try our best well, together with our editorial team to provide the best possible experience for authors. We, are, we do not charge a fee and we provide uh, timely and constructive uh, feedback to authors. Uh, the, from this year, we uh, uh, actually last year is already 2022 already. So uh, we, we started to uh, open two social media accounts. One is our LinkedIn page. Another one is our Twitter account. We update our event and update our uh, uh, call for papers uh, 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 from time to time in those places. I invite you to follow our uh, social media uh, uh, account and, and please uh, do keep in touch. Uh, 